Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically add items to a drop down list in Excel. This is a great way to keep your list of options up to date that a user can select in a cell uh, and you don't have to update those lists manually. This method will add them automatically for you. So there's two steps to this. The first step is to create a data table, which you will use as the source for your Excel drop-down list. The second step is to create a named range, which stores your Excel data. And the third step is to set that range as the data source for your data validation. Three simple steps. Let's get started with step one, which is to create a data table. So first of all, so this is a really simple options list that I've got for Excel users to select as a drop down list. So hit Control T to create a table. The Create Table dialogs will come up and confirm that your table has headers. We now have a data table. The second part is to create a named range. Hit Formulas, Name Manager and hit New. What we want to do is give it a relevant name. So I'm going to call this this range products. Next, select the items that you want in your named range, which is our list of items. Then hit OK. And you can see our named range has been inserted here. Close out of the dialog box. Step three. We then set that named range as the data source for our data validation. So let's say we're going to set up data validation in these cells here. Select the range of cells, hit the data tab. In the data tools, hit data validation. So in the data validation settings tab, we want to allow a list and the source of the list is our named range. Hit OK. So now we have our data validation set up. So let's test it and add in a new product. Let's add top hat to the list and see if that now appears as an option. And it does. So by using the data table with a named range the data validation list now becomes dynamic. You don't have to manually add any new items to data validation lists. That was a quick tip today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. It really does all help the channel. If you want to ask a question, put it in the comments box below and I'll see you next time for another video.